Okay, I seem to be back on. Wait till everybody shows back up. Let me. Which time do I have here? Like four minutes. Okay, I'm gonna see. Um, Daniel, I hope you come back. I hope you've made it back. I am gonna see if I can find that photograph of yours. Um, can I post it? Do I have your permission to post it? Oh, it's just beautiful today. Not sure I'm smart enough to work all these things at the same time. Good morning, Kamala. Haven't had you around in a while. Wonderful to see you. And Gail, too. Wonderful. So this is an image, my friend, uh, Daniel posted this week, this morning. Um, isn't that beautiful? You see why I love it. I love the roads. The colors are fantastic. Um, he is a very a good man, and his wife has been struggling with, uh, with some health issues. So I wanted to post and share that fantastic photo. I am so lucky. I have, I have got amazing photographer friends all over the world. It's just, uh, it really makes me happy. And thank you very much, Daniel, for posting that today. Um, your post and the hope that you shared uh, really made my day much better. I appreciate that. so good at the tech that I actually took a photograph off of another site, put it on, and got it up and on display. Woohoo! <laughs> For those of you like Kamala and, uh, and Daniel who've been with me off and on during this whole ride, that's pretty amazing. <laughs> Thank you for joining me this morning. So, for those of you who are new, this is a uh, road trip I took from Rexburg, Idaho to uh, Mount Boise. And this is just, just me rolling down the road with my friend Robert. I'm hoping to go out and find wild horses today, and if I do, I'll probably do another one of these Scott videos because I've shown this one three or four times. Alright, my friends. Hello, Facebook. How are you this morning? I am David Arday, and I'm so happy to be here um, on this Tuesday morning. Uh, I've been kind of back and forth on Tuesdays a little, but I decided to come back on today. Don't have a lot to talk about, but I do have some really pretty photographs. I want to talk about the snow in Boise. I want to talk some about my book. Um, it's taken some turns and some twists, as you can imagine. And I want to want to just thank you all. So let's get Get right to it. And that sound you, that mewing sound, is the pretty little Sunny. She won't, will you come up to them? You want to see all the people? Huh? To come up with me? No? Come on. Come on, Sunny. Here. Let's show you, do the fag peek. This. This is Sunny. <laughs> so, I guess the show's going to also have a cat. The cat and the dog normally have three cats in this house. I'm not a cat person. Um, Sunny's kind of enduring. She's really squishy. She's like a plush toy. So, uh, Dasher dog and the three cats. Oh, we got we got a cat bomb today. How fun is that? So, 
Uh, it snowed in Boise. In fact, it's snowing currently. Um, I love snow. Snow is like a the holiday, the first day of snow for me. I try to take it off. I used to ski quite a bit. I might ski a little this year. I don't know. Uh, my main ski partner, Alyssa Day, has had some health issues that have made it harder for her to uh, to ski. So um, I don't know. I have some, I have some new friends, including uh, Link Jackson, who skis, and maybe I'll get a chance to get out. So just want to show you a little snow. Um, this is one of those photographs I took with my iPhone. Um, I love the contrast between the yellow and the red. We talk about that often, and I also like the the contrast between the handmade, the handmade, the man-made pavement against the natural leaves and the different colors and textures and shapes of those leaves. That's why I enjoy that photograph. So thought I would show you that. What else do we want to talk about? What else do I have over here? Ah, <laughs> all right, my friend. For those of you, uh, in fact, no matter whether you've been with me or not, my book was originally called Just Around the Bend, Tales from a Photographer's Journey. Um, <laughs> it just didn't work. Um, I intended to use tales that I heard from being out on the road. Um, I still get to go on the road, but I don't get to talk to anybody. It's uh, Robert and I, or maybe Corey or Tony, and we sit in a car, and uh, we travel for miles and miles and miles, and we uh, don't usually even go into the gas stations if we can help um, and get quick food or maybe go to an Albertsons and get takeout. So I don't get to sit in a diner and listen to the people around me. I don't sit in corner coffee shops early in the morning. I'm just not getting any new stories because there's no art fairs. I'm not talking to people in front of my work um, except for four hours, well, now eight hours a week or a month at the art source, which I generally, I saw six people on, on this last Sunday. I just, I'm just not seeing enough people to generate the stories. So I'm going to switch it around. I have over the years. I love water. For me, it is not a true job until I get my feet wet. The people that go out with me laugh because um, I can find a puddle. I love shooting reflections. I love waterfalls. Uh, I really, really, really love roaring rivers and peaceful mountain streams and the lakes. I've taken photographs of the riverways of Idaho for decades, and I think that that is going to be the book. I would love to have your opinion. What's your favorite waterway? Um, what should I call it? Um, if you have a que if you have an idea for me, um, if you, just and what do you think? Do you think that a book of the uh, beautiful photographs of the scenery, the water scenery, the waterways of Idaho? Do you think that is something that is viable? Can I sell three or four hundred? Um, I certainly hope so. Let's talk about these two photographs. The one on the, uh, the uh, let's see, you be your right is obviously me. And interestingly enough, oh, I can't tell, I've lost it. I'm wearing a, uh, uh, I had it on a minute ago. I'm wearing a, uh, a scarf that I still wear. Um, you can see the roaring water, my tripod there. I've got my camera in my hand. Um, the picture on the left, on the other side, is actually that waterfall. This is a place that's very sacred to me. It's called Secret Falls. I was taken there by a Native American. Um, I'm not allowed to reveal its uh, location. It's not very far away, but it's just stunning. Um, this is this is springtime at Secret Falls. So is this a viable idea? Do you think I can uh, create something that people will wear? Um, I have decided that I'm probably going to write it, which means it's going to have a little bit of humor, a little bit of snark. Um, I was working on the intro uh, today, um, and I think it will be fun. Let's show you some more. This is the beautiful Stanley Lake. Um, this is an example of the sort of imagery that I plan to put into this book. Um, I will obviously have my heart and soul. Um, I still plan to fly. I talked to Clint on email just before the show, and I think I'm going to get to fly. I'm going to do Hell's Canyon this spring. I think that that will just be amazing. Sunny for, apparently wants to see it. Come on. Coming up? No? No, oh, well, she's just going to make noise back there. So, you know, we've all learned with these Zoom and uh, in-house presentations that we're going to get kids and dogs and cats and that sort of thing. Good morning, B. Glad to see you. So, does anybody have a favorite Idaho uh, Idaho waterway that they would like to see me take a photograph of? Um, I'm really, really looking forward to doing this book. 
And of course, you'll be along for the journey. Um, I will most likely do some sort of Kickstarter to pre-sell it. I'm looking for a sponsor. If you've got anybody out there who uh, would like uh, maybe 100 books to give away as uh, Christmas gifts, I plan to have it ready for Christmas next year. That's my deadline, and I think I can get to it. Um, in searching my files, I need something like 100 images. Um, just a quick search, I came up with maybe 60. Um, and some of them are really, really good. Uh, I think this is one of those, this beautiful log at Stanley Lake. I hiked in to get this because Stanley is closed in the winter, so I had to hike in to get that photograph. So what do you think, folks? Um, Candy says Lake Cleveland. Where is Lake Cleveland? Is that an, is that an Idaho lake, Candy? Um, I don't, I'm not familiar with it. Uh, maybe, uh, um, I've, honestly, I've never heard of Lake Cleveland, so. Um, I would love if you would uh, email me or message me some information. Sonny is about to step on the keyboards, so he's being very active today. What you doing, son? Yeah? I don't think that's true. Oh, now she's starting to knock shit off. It should be fun. All right. So, thank you. Um, oh, okay. So, down in the, the southeast corner, I believe, is in Albion. I've been there. I've been in Albion a couple of times, so... I'll have to look that up, and maybe that will be something. I know that uh, my photographs of Bear Lake are not very good, and I think it needs to be in there. So I do plan to travel the whole state some more, and uh, over the next six or seven months, get some images. Um, I'm going to cheat. Eh, not really cheat. The uh, wild horses are on the plane just above the snake, so I think they count. Of course, that eagle I shot is on the Boise River, so I can use that. Um, I will have some critters. Not a lot. I'm not really a wildlife guy. Guy, but uh, you know, there we go. Lake Cleveland. I need to find out what some more about Lake Cleveland. So, there you go. Here we are. There you go. So, that's kind of it, folks. Um, I just want to again, as always, thank you for your loving and support of this. Um, this has been a difficult, <laughs> been a difficult couple of weeks, been a difficult couple of months, been a difficult year. It feels like it's getting slowly better. Um, sounds like we might have a vaccine. Wouldn't that be amazing? My wife seems to think that that's something that's going to help. Of course, we'll need people to take it, but that'll be a challenge. But uh, how fun is that? Uh, I'm going to go back to doing Tuesday mornings here. Uh, I tried to do YouTube. didn't really work. Um, I'm not going to commit to doing every Tuesday, but I will do them uh, when everything else is going. I'm beginning to get a little busy. I think I picked up a big commission this week. So, um, you know, there we go. About all I got. Anything else? Anything else? Anybody got anything they want to say? <laughs> I gotta throw this up because I have a comment. Um, Bear Lake, the Caribbean of the Rockies. The problem with Bear Lake is if you're not a member of one of the clubs or have property on the uh, on Bear Lake, you you can't get to it. Uh, I think it might be the only the the park. Is, I'm not even sure there is any public access, and if it is, it's up at the top where it's not very. Uh, uh, not very accessible. I was very disappointed when I went to, to Bear Lake because I wanted to see it, and you really can't. It's very difficult to get to, so <laughs> there you go. All right, Candy, I greatly appreciate that input. Um, like I said, I will probably get to Bear Lake. Maybe I'll fly over it. Maybe that's the way to get a decent picture of Bear Lake. It's from the sky. Uh. Oh, more good suggestions from Daniel. Uh, uh, as we have discussed, Daniel, I'm really not a black and white guy, although this one does look pretty good in black and white. I have made it that way. I've even sold it in black and white. Um, the tones, because the tones are so soft, uh, but I really like that just subtle orange glow that's in the background. So, But that's not a bad suggestion. There will certainly be some black and white in this, in this book. Uh, and uh, as we travel along, as we go back and forth, I think we're going to be able to uh, put something together. And I do need your help, so I do, 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 do very much appreciate that. Huh. Fantastic. Well, I love it when things come together. I like the synchronicity that Kamala is also a lake 
Cleveland fan. I guess that puts it permanently on the list. This, I believe, my friends, will be the cover, or either the front or the back. This is called Lola's Moon. Um, Lola is now my grand dog. I'm not really fond of that, but um, my son's wife's dog. Um, and one of the first times I really got a chance to interact with my now my now wife, my my now daughter-in-law, was uh, up on a deck in McCall, Idaho, and uh, this moon came up. A long, long day. I did a market in Boise, and then I did another show in McCall. Um, by the time I got to this place, I was wiped out. And the kindness that was expressed by my son's uh, son's wife and uh, their two dogs was great. And then this image uh, appeared. I ran to the car. I was able to capture it. And it is truly emotionally and uh, professionally one of my very favorite images. And it is one of the reasons why I've decided that I am going to do the Waterways of Idaho. I still need a really cool name, you know. I love Just Around the Bend, a photographer's journey, but even though water does go around bends, it doesn't kind of fit. So I need something really, really fun. All right. You? Uh, you know, Daniel, that would make a very, very good, uh, uh, I don't know, let me pop this up here. Today's broadcast is a little bit looser than most, so Daniel says, well, I tell you what, you would be on that list. Um, uh, you may not be the most well-known photographer I know, but you are certainly one who has influenced me. Um, uh, I, I appreciate you and your work greatly, but it might be a good show. Uh, I'll talk about that. I have several, um, several mentors, teachers, um, both uh, um, living and past that that might not very might not be a bad idea. So, this is David Arday. I greatly appreciate all of the care and loving that you send me. I wish you would share it all, share with everybody. Please be kind. Let's figure out a way to uh, move towards a kinder, gentler nation. And uh, I appreciate you all. And. Mm -hmm.